Hello everyone, welcome to Live at Lunch. I'm Emily. And I'm Caro, and we're the new Jesuit volunteers here at the WCA, and we're going to talk a little bit about us, the program we're doing, and also self-care, because that's important as well. So Emily, do you want to talk to a little bit about yourself and your role here? Sure. So I just started last week. Um, I will be serving as the outreach coordinator here at WCA, and that role involves doing a lot of tabling um, and spreading the word about WCA and the services it offers. And I'm really happy to be here. I love the environment um, and this place is wonderful. And we also definitely love, love the city. Yeah, for sure. Neither of us are from here. I'm from Atlanta and- um, I'm from Minnesota. Yeah, so Boise is very, very new to us, but <laughs> we've loved so far getting to explore it and just see everything the city has to offer. Um, I'm serving as a prevention programming coordinator, so essentially I'll get to go into schools, youth groups, and talk to youth and young adolescents about relationships, dating norms, um, and important topics such as like consent and boundaries, um, and important things like that. So we, before we go any further, we just want to say hello to all of our future um, past JVs watching this and everyone at WCA, other folks. Definitely in the comment if you have any questions about JVC Northwest, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Definitely give us some comments and questions so we can go ahead and answer and just engage with y'all a little bit more. Um, for those of y'all who aren't familiar with the Jesuit Volunteer Corps Northwest, uh, we will share a link in the comments about it, but um, we um, can talk a little bit about that as well. So uh, essentially it's a spiritual formation program that um, recruits uh, young college graduates to engage in a year of meaningful service. They operate under the basis of their four core values, which are spirituality, community, social justice, and community. So for us, that means we get to live with each other and other Jesuit volunteers in the Boise area. Um, we live on a modest budget and just kind of do life together, engage in conversations about service, spirituality, while working at or while serving at nonprofits. Hi, Anne Marie. Um, while serving at nonprofits in the area, uh, I know for me that was super attractive just because of the um, potential for professional and personal development that it offers through just working at the WC or volunteering at WCA and living alongside these other kinds of folks. Um, my background's in education. I earned both my bachelor's and my master's in middle school education in educational theory and practice. So the potential of just going into schools and talking with young adolescents about subjects that, you know, they wouldn't usually talk about within a usual school day or school curriculum is just really exciting and really I think that kind of merges well with the WCA's hopes to, you know, reduce the amount of domestic violence in the area and just change minds and perceptions around dating and norms. But would you like to add anything, Emily? Did I leave anything out about JVC Northwest? Sure, yeah. Just I wanted to add that JVC Northwest partners with AmeriCorps, so we are AmeriCorps members as well, which is a super cool opportunity to be a part of something bigger than ourselves and across, across the nation. And Carol mentioned she studied education. I just finished um, st getting my bachelor's in psychology, so that's one of the reasons that drew me to this particular position. And additionally, um, I do have lived experience with the population we're serving, so that is a cool a cool way to empower myself and empower um, members of the community that are also survivors. And what what's our favorite? What have been some of our favorite things to do in Boise so far? So we went on a really cool hike this weekend. I believe it was in the Boise National Forest, um, kind of next to the foothills, and that was really cool. Um, I'm from the East Coast, so we just have a very different climate out there, and so it was really neat to explore something different, and it was me, Emily, and two of our other housemates, so it was really sweet to get to spend quality time with each other and try something new. Um, I know the smoke is not incredible at the moment, but I really enjoyed all the outdoors uh, activities that Boise has to offer. Biking around has been really cool, and definitely just with all the newness of coming to a new city and doing, you know, new work. It's been really a great way to practice self-care as well. But what about you, Emily? What have you enjoyed? Yeah, I, well, we learned right away that people call it boy C, not boy Z. And I definitely, um, that was a change for me from Minnesota. I was telling everybody I was going to be living in boy Z, but that's not what the locals say. And I have definitely been biking. <laughs> My family jokes that I've been biking more than I've ever biked in my whole life up to this part. We have not tried Fancy Freeze yet. We have tried the still. Um, we, um, oh, our house gosh. is right next to one of those and we've been really impressed with that. Like that's a really cool thing to have in your neighborhood. Yeah, but. I don't know what the flavor's called, but it was like this peanut butter cookie dough 
um, ice cream, and it was the best, best ice cream I've ever had. Yeah, I think mine was like huckleberry lavender or something. I love lavender and just, you know, you always smell it, but I didn't really know what it was going to taste like. So that was a unique experience. But we definitely will add that to the list of places that we need to try out. Definitely keep sending those comments. We are open to trying anything. Um, but no, I just would second that. I feel like I've biked more in the last couple of weeks than in my entire life. <laughs> and so we're definitely going to get some really good calf muscles. Oh, That'll yeah. be an added bonus. Um, <laughs> But I know for me personally, that's a really great way to practice self-care. Like, I'm a very introverted person, so even just spending time on my bike, exploring the city, it's just, you know, you're feeding two birds with one skill, and you're taking care of yourself and seeing a new place. Fry sauce. Not, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but if it's a restaurant, we'll look it up. If it's a food, we'll try it as well. But my, thank you for that suggestion. <laughs> I'm the Minnesotan, so I, I'm so you I do ranch with everything oh and ketchup gosh. with everything and my 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 housemates kind of think that's a little weird but yeah I love love the midwest and Caro Caro says y'all a lot because she's from Georgia and yeah. so that's it's pretty cool yeah I think each of us has our own little unique habits and mannerisms kind of from back home so it's just a nice menagerie of folks and habits in our place but um but no, what about you, Emily? What have been some self-care practices that have been really fruitful in the past week or so for you? Yeah, um, definitely making sure to take time for myself, especially because there's so, like, we live in community with uh, four other JVs, and it's so much fun. Like, we totally lucked out with the group of people we're living with. We've had so many laughs and know, gotten to know so much about each other. It feels like we've known each other for months, not weeks. Um, but in addition to, uh, I like to read a lot. I just finished my 67th book for the calendar year. Um, and I also like to send um, mail all over the world, like write letters. I'm on a goal to receive mail back from every country in the world. And so far I've heard back from 91 countries. So that's a fun way that I practice self care. Mm -hmm. And like I like going on walks too. Boise is a very walkable and bikeable city, which yeah. is super nice. I've been reading a ton too. A little less impressive, still a victory. <laughs> I just finished my ninth book of the year, so a little bit less than Emily, but still a lot. So I I'm a part of something called Post Crossing, and that's a worldwide postcard swap. And so the website itself says who to write to, but I also um, sometimes I just shot the long shot and um, written to random addresses I can find if I don't know anybody in a country. So it's pretty cool. I, um, I started doing this like my, going into my senior year of high school and I wrote to um, a research base in Antarctica and the male person who worked there, who, who was just a normal person, everybody else was scientists, but he wrote me back and sent me some um, patches and all this stuff from Antarctica and yeah, I've, I've heard back from some really cool countries as well. Otherwise, I'll just write to um, friends of family. And I know, um, so I graduated from St. Norbert College, which was in Green Bay. And I was on uh, the Green Bay TV news um, about my whole letters and postcards. And so I was able to connect with a lot of, a lot of folks watching who knew people in different countries. So that's, that's a fun way. I practice self-care and Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a cool hobby to get to learn a lot about geography and different people and cultures and ways of life. Yeah, absolutely. And so the mail coming is a pretty big deal at our house. Yeah. <laughs> but we're all kind of learning a lot of new things as well, just about the world of post crossing. And it's going to be cool as we get, or as Emily receives more mail from different folks around the globe to learn a little bit more about them and what it's like in their corner of the world. So we're living vicariously through that through <laughs> Emily. So it's pretty cool, like the whole just a volunteer corner with less living community with each other, getting to do things like this and experience different, just different things. Um, and so even that has been a real form of self-care, I think for a lot of us in the house, and I don't know if you would agree, Emily, but just, I think we have a lot of really neat conversations and, you know, like I said, like I am pretty introverted, but a lot of times a great way to practice self-care is just having really cool conversations with friends, like spending time with each other and um, having like restorative conversations and that just bring life and fulfillment to your days is really neat. So. That's definitely another way you can practice self-care if you're more people-oriented or just being extroverted. Definitely claim those folks that bring life to you in that way as well. But 
Yeah. It was super cool to um, last week we were able to visit the service sites of our other mm -hmm. housemates and see the awesome work that each of their nonprofits are doing. So we get to have really great conversations with them when we get home. Yeah, that's a good question. If you could travel with a professional guide, where would you go? That's an interesting question. I would go to the small um, Asian country of Bhutan. I really want to go there. It's a beautiful country, and if I ever get married, I think I want to do my honeymoon there. So that, that'll be a little bit pricey, but I definitely go there. Um, I feel like I can travel vicariously through um, a lot of my post-crossing, but I know Bhutan is a, is a small country. They measure, um, they have really low carbon emissions. Um, there's so, so much forest there. It's a Buddhist country, so there's beautiful monasteries and everything. And the only way to get there is you have to fly into India and then into the Bhutan airport. It's right across from Nepal. So I don't know if you can picture a map in your head, but you have India, then you have China above that, and then sandwiched between the two, you have Nepal and then Bhutan. So um, you, you have to go, when you visit, you have to like, go with a local guide, so you pay for a guide to take you around. And then you also pay a, a small fee per day to the government to help promote tourism and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I have not gotten mail from there. I, I wrote to the tourism agency, but I did not hear back. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a place I really want. Though I, I really want Mongolia too because I have all the other countries around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would probably do something very similar. I would love to go out on a hiking trip to the Balkans in Eastern Europe. Um, definitely trying to become more outdoorsy. So last, I mean, if you have any comments on places to hike or just things to do outside, definitely send those my way in the comments. But um, with that, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Um, just wanted to send well wishes to everyone out there and just remind you guys to be your best selves for each other, for the um, for the folks around you. We'll be back in a few weeks, so definitely stay. Keep yeah. keep tuned. We'll 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 shout it out before we're gonna go live. Um, yes, absolutely. So you you'll be seeing more of us, um, more self care tips, more talk about the, the WCA and our journey here. But thank you guys for watching, and have a great rest of your Monday. Bye.